Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com and in this video we're working with Authorize.net Accept Hosted Payment Gateway for our Live Forms module. So let's get started. What I have here is an installation of .dnn9.6.2 and I have a page here called Forms on which I already have the Live Forms module placed. So let's go ahead and set this up. So one of the first things we need is a form to to go ahead and collect payment and, 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 and sell a product. So what I'm going to do is head over to mandeeps.com, navigate to live forms. And I'm going to go uh, take a look at one of the demos. And there's a buy now form right here. And then there's also a checkout form. And I'm going to just kind of use this as a template to kind of get started. So I'll just copy this, head back to our page. I'm going to go down here and paste it. So we have a quick form to get started with. So since we're working with accept hosted checkout, uh, that means we really don't need to collect payment mode and credit card and all that. That's gonna be handled by the uh, checkout itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some of these fields. We don't need that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that really quick. And uh, while I am deleting these fields, uh, we have a checkout form set up for us automatically on the top where we can choose a product or a bunch of different products and it kind of calculates uh, a, a total for us down here and kind of shows it to the client. Uh, so that's already done for us. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this last field here so we have a simple form. So I have a simple form where I can choose a product, add some accessories, gift wrap it. And then I have this hidden field here that's stored in the total which is also being shown to the client here. So if you want to take a look at this really quick, I can head out. And if I choose a product, I see an amount right away. And if I add accessory to it, I see that the total is then updated to include that. All right, so let's go ahead and now that we have a form configured, let's go ahead and go to options and go to actions. And we're going to do on form submission. We're going to go ahead and make a payment through authorized.net accept hosted. So we're gonna go down here, let's give it a name. I'm just gonna call this uh, uh, auth payment. And um, we need our API login key and transaction key. All right, so where do we get these? So let's go over to uh, mandeeps.com, knowledge base, live forms. And then once we're here, we're gonna go down to configure, extensions, e-commerce and payment. We're gonna find our authorized.net accept hosted documentation. And if you take a look right here, it's uh, doing everything we just did, which is went to live forms, manage options, and added that extension. And we have to kind of paste our API and key. And here's the link, which kind of tells us where we can go uh, and get those keys. So we can go ahead and sign up for a sandbox, sandbox account on authorized.net and get our key. So follow these directions and grab your keys. Once you have them, simply paste them right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna paste my transaction key. It says I am doing this on a sandbox, so I'm gonna check this. If you're on live, keep this unchecked. And the only really thing that I need to map is uh, the total purchase amount, which is in my case called currency. Uh, you could definitely pass in the first name, last name, email address, and so forth if you want to. But in my case, I'm gonna just leave that blank right now. And lastly, we're gonna save this action. And these actions were already created for us when we copied the form. That is to do the magic of creating the checkout. We just created this odd payment action right here. Let's go ahead and go back and give this a spin. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a product and 600 bucks. Let's add some AirPods to it. It is now 750 and let's go ahead and click place order. What happens right now is a Accept authorized.net accept hosted overlay appears where I can now pay with a credit card or a bank account and simply type in the information here. Test, test, let's put some test data in. Let's hit pay. We'll wait for the processing to go through, and if the if the charge goes through, it will uh, it will display that to us and let us know the charge went through, and we're all set. Uh, and similarly, the, the client can play through a bank account as well using um, 
using authorized accept hosting uh, rather than a credit card. So we're just gonna sit tight here and wait for the processing to complete. Uh, it's a little bit slower on the sandbox for some reason, but should get through uh, fairly soon here. There we go, it says thank you for your payment of $750 and some billing information. I can simply close out of here, hit continue, and I will then get to see the thank you message that's configured in uh, live forms. That's it for the short video.